Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be making a video about this little clock here. Um, this project uh, by right now is obviously by no means final. I, I just built it hastily up on a breadboard um, and I've been testing its, uh, its accuracy um, here for the past few days. Um, but basically this is a, um, it's a clock built on a non-multiplexed um, LCD for its output and it just uses two shift registers here. And um, you're thinking, well, a clock based in, on an AT Mega 328, why would you use that? You know, it's such a high power microcontroller. Well, because I'm not concerned in this case for a battery powered clock with power. What I'm actually going to do is um, make it a projector clock. So, like I described in one of my past videos that was um, showing how to make a projector out of a screen, what I've done is I have a second one of these LCDs I actually scraped off the backing. On the backing, there's a little reflective metal sheet. I scraped it off and um, wiped it down so now it's just a clear LCD but the numbers still show up because the LCD is intact it's just the, the metal backing that I took off so you can you can see straight through it unless the um, LCDs are lit up in which case um, obviously it's black so um, I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna um, put a bunch of I'm probably red um, LEDs in the back although I could go green um, but I, I kind of like red, um, and also I have more red LEDs than I have green LEDs. Put them in the back and get a magnifying glass, and that actually creates a projector. But I'll talk more about the projection aspect of it laser later. Uh, right now I just want to talk about the, um, the clock aspect of it. So, um, basically for the clock aspect of it, it's right now it's going to be powered over USB, and I think um, in the final design it's just going to be powered by a wall transformer and a 7805. Um, it's a voltage regulator. But... Um, Right now, as you can see, this LCD has about 40 pins, and um, obviously I don't need many because on, on this digit right here that's not on, um, you only need a one or nothing, so you, you can get away with um, having fewer connections here, but um, not, not really because of what I'm, the drive I'm going to explain later. You drive it um, in a very specific sense. So anyway, um, this uses up every pin except for the um, pin 0 and 1 on the Arduino, and that includes the um, shift register pins, because I'm using two um, 595s um, for a shift register, this shield here, um, just to make prototyping easy. But anyway, uh, for the drive for this LCD, what happens is you have a back plane here, so that's connected up to pin 1, okay? And the back plane is sort of, you can think of it as in the, in the back of the LCD, there's something that's connected up to the back plane, and in each digit above the back plane, um, above the liquid crystal, there's a, there's a smaller one, a smaller electrode for each digit. And when you apply a voltage to a back plane, and you apply the opposite voltage, so if you fly 5 volts to the back plane and ground to one of the electrodes, it's going to um, make the uh, crystals twist at uh, 90 degrees, and so then light can get through the polarizers. But if you put the same voltage on as if you put ground and ground, then um, the LC, uh, the liquid crystals aren't going to twist, and the polarizers are going to let light through. So, um, so that's how it works. So basically, uh, just the operation of an LCD in general is that um, it twists the light so that the polari polarizers will actually block the light. Um, but in the specific case of driving uh, a non-multiplexed LCD like this, by the way, they're selling these on BG Micro, 50 cents a piece. Pretty cheap, so you can pick a few up there. Um, but um, the way I'm driving it is I'm feeding the back plane with a voltage that's changing every second. So every second it's changing, and on the Arduino I'm using the uh, blink without delay function to accomplish this without messing up my timing. So basically each second the back plane changes from high to low, high to low, high to low. And then basically when I want to light, or sorry, when I want a, a segment dark, what I do is I say digital right, you know, whatever that segment happens to be, whatever pin that happens to be, um, and then comma, um, not the LED state, because if you look in the example, LED state is the, um, is, is either in this case, whether the back plane would be high or low, but normally just in the example would be whether your LED was on or off. Um, and so when you say not the LED state, that means that you're writing one of the electrode, the segment of the electrodes for the segments. You're um, writing that to be the opposite of the LED state. And like I said, when that happens, the crystals will twist and the polarizers will block light from going through. So um, 
and that's the way you drive it. But then say you don't want a segment to light up, like in this, this nine here, you don't want these two segments to light up. So what you do is you say digital right, whatever the segment happens to be LED state, because if they're the same, the liquid crystal isn't gonna twist and the polarizers are gonna let light through. So that's, that's the way you drive it, is if you want, you, you basically get the back plane to change every second, okay? And then um, if you want to write, uh, if you want to make a segment dark, you say digital write it um, to be not, not accomplish, uh, the way you do that in the Arduino software, you do not use an exclamation mark. So you say exclamation mark LED state. So that means that um, it, whatever the back plane happens to be at that moment, um, the segment's gonna be the opposite of it. And like I said, that will um, make the segment dark. Um, but if you want to make a segment um, see-through, so like in this nine here or this one, there's segments that, that are a see-through, you can't see them, uh, you say digital right just to the LED state. So that way they're going to be the same and the polarizers are going to let light straight through. So um, that's how you drive one of these things. And then the way I get this to flash is I just write it just high. So uh, high or low, it doesn't matter. But this, this um, colon in the middle the way it's blinking like that is it's just, um, I'm saying digital right at high, so when the back plane happens to be high, then you're not gonna see this because their back plane and the uh, colon are at the same state. But when uh, the back plane is low, they're gonna be the opposite state, so it's gonna light up. And so um, that's how you drive one of these non-multiplexed LCDs. So pick one up and uh, experiment with it. The, just be warned if you're using a regular 328, you're gonna need two shift registers. Um, but using the um, Easy Expander library, that's what the shield's called, Easy Expander, um, it makes it really easy. You can just say digital write and say pin 26, and it's going to write that specific pin on the shift register, whatever you say. So you don't actually have to worry about the inner workings of shift registers. And obviously you can use that library if you're just connecting up two shift registers without a shield. You're probably wondering why can't we just write the back plane always high and just write the segments low if we want them dark and high if we want them off. Well that's because if you actually do that you'll notice the segments will fade away after a few seconds. So by switching the back plane every second it makes it so this, the, the, the segments um, don't uh, fade away in a sense. So that's, that's, um, that's really it. I mean it's really simple to drive one of these things. The hardest part is just sitting down and um, taking the time to write all the subroutines, to write each segment to a specific um, number. But other than that, really simple to drive one of these things, and for 50 cents, you can pick one up at BG Micro. So um, give, an, uh, give it a shot, because it's, uh, it's a neat project, and I'll keep you updated when it um, is more finalized than this and is projecting. So thanks for watching.